I love my iced coffee, and nothing better when you're on side by side than enjoying some coffee. Look at the sky. It's going to be a beautiful day. And <laughs> look at mom. This was so funny. So, so funny. Her strap is filthy with food. Guess what she did? She, she was chewing on the strap, and I didn't know what was going on. And then she started telling me that she thought the bacon was really tough, and it was the strap that she was chewing on. It was so funny. You never know what you're going to see when the camera is rolling. Oh, this was hilarious. She said, you're going to see it on the camera. I was chewing on the strap. And this is the first caribou off today. Normally we would see two or three, maybe four in a group. But this time of the year, they're in calf. And they're going to be getting ready soon to give birth. So they kind of separate from the herd. And this is our beautiful dam. It's always nice to be able to get a good shot when you're driving by. Now this is probably one of the worst hills that we got to deal with. It's always washed out. But put her in four wheel drive and you'll get up there. We just spotted another caribou. So we're going to go back and see can we get a look. Here's our third caribou of today, and this is a little, little small one, probably last year's caribou, a little bit fluffy. And there's our fourth caribou, seen through the woods. It's amazing how many caribou we're seeing. It's probably the most I've seen all together. So this is what we call blowdowns. The wind over time to knock these trees down. And they're, they're pretty much dead. And they're drying out really nicely. Perfect for burning in the garage. <clears throat> Devoted that one and cut them one out with 32 inches for a job lock. He's big. Now remember what father's like. There is a certain way to pack this wood. Certain way. That's why mother is not picking up any of that wood because there's a right way and a wrong way to pack wood. We've visited this issue in past videos. And sure enough, he's going to tell me I'm putting it in the wrong place. And that's what Mother is saying right there now. Me and her are having a little conversation about it. And another caribou, but this one is a young one and is probably looking for the rest. But they're, like I said, they're separating this time of the year. And look at the country. We have a lot of bogs here in Newfoundland, but the scenery is breathtaking.
over here at the beach. This is a lake, it's not salt water, it's fresh water. And we're gonna get ready to have a little fire. We're gonna have a great cook up. You gotta be careful when you're putting wood on a fire that father have created because again there is a right way and a wrong way to place wood on a fire believe it or not yeah there is there's a right way and a wrong way we're going to get these butane burners ready and we're going to use two of them to cook our wonderful cornfish and cornfish is codfish that's uh, salted in a brine, in a salt brine, salt solution, and it's soaked there for um, I think about four to six hours. So you get that salty taste, and it's not overly salty. It's not like salt fish that you would salt on a flake outside with with your coarse salt. This is a beautiful way to have salt fish. Don't have to worry about adding any salt to the water. It gives you that right amount of salt. So Father is getting the pot ready, he just filled it up. So we're going to let Father do most of the cooking because, again, there's a right way and a wrong way to boil water. Yeah. And this is our codfish. We buy it locally. It's fish right here in Newfoundland. You can't get any better than codfish that's caught just along our shores. And it's definitely one of the most healthiest fish that you can eat and we have great access to it and we also go fishing ourselves throughout the summer and throughout the fall when the season is open they actually put a limit on the amount of codfish and when we're allowed to fish it's a little bit on the ridiculous side being Newfoundlanders and not being able to go to get a codfish whenever you like but we usually buy a big supply of our codfish to last all fall winter and spring even into the summer again because we normally buy it in the fall of the year. It's all come to a boil and we only boil this for probably 12 to 15 minutes it was frozen so it may take an extra few minutes but uh, you don't need to cook codfish for very long and again you got to be careful pouring up your tea because uh, mother being mother being with father for like over 50 years she only wanted her cup half full I filled it half full and guess what it wasn't enough I had to put like another teaspoon of water in her cup I said yeah you've been you've been with father a little too long I think it just wasn't enough water even though she only wanted the half a cup yeah 
there, there are a lot of like, trust me, there are a lot of like, and this codfish is ready. One thing about codfish, it's very filling, very nutritious, and even the skin, a lot of nutrition is in the skin. We do not skin our codfish, we eat the skin along with the fish. Another important step when it comes to codfish is making sure you put butter on your codfish. Get that melted butter, it is absolutely amazing. These are not small fillets, they're big fillets, nice sized fish, and very, very delicious. Look how beautiful it is. Look at that melted butter, some toast, some tea. That's all you need. You don't need any extra. Just boil this up out by the beach and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful taste of the codfish. Look how flaky this is. Look how nice. Doesn't need to cook it for very long. Nice white fish. We should have some sort of fish in our diet every week. And I'm gonna dig right in. Fresh bread toasted, some butter, some codfish, and a beautiful cup of tea. Can't ask for any better. Always leave your tea bag and the tea to get a good strong taste. That was another great cook up and the caribou that we've seen today was crazy. <clears throat> it's the most caribou I've seen on one trip. And this cornfish, like I said, is just salt cod. Cod that we have caught off our coast here in Newfoundland, Atlantic codfish. Great fish lightly salted in a salt brine we call it cornfish absolutely perfect and delicious if you enjoyed this type of content we're going to be doing lots of more cooking outdoors and enjoying hunting and fishing exploring everything that newfoundland has to offer we are definitely blessed to be living in a province like this and if you enjoyed this video please check out my snowmobiling video right here because even though we're in spring Going into summer, you're going to enjoy our winters here in Newfoundland, and we'll see you in our next video.